This video is about how to create an accordion menu that you could integrate into your website. I am currently on the w3schools.com website, specifically this web address. And what you can include in your Dreamweaver documents is an accordion where you've got collapsible panels, such as this. Okay. What I'd like you to do first is open up Dreamweaver. Keep this window open. So I'm going to move my window out of the way and I'm going to go ahead and open up Dreamweaver. I'm going to create a new document. I'm going to save it right away. File, Save. Navigate to my USB, Art116, my name folder, and I will call this Accordion. Demo. and save. Coming back to this web page, as I scroll down, you can see that the W3 School has given you the HTML that you need to add to your page, the CSS that you need to add to your page, and also JavaScript. Okay, and we'll go over how to do each of these. And if you click all the way down here it actually gives you the complete code but keep in mind this one's including the html code the head code as well as the body so if you just want to grab parts of it you don't want to copy this whole thing so i'll go back and we'll do it step by step first thing i'm going to do is i'm going to copy slash add the HTML. So I'm going to select all the HTML and I'm going to go edit, copy. I'm going to move back to Dreamweaver. The HTML, give me one second, goes in the body tag. So I'm going to hit the return key and give myself some room in the code. And I'm going to go edit, paste. Okay. Now what I want to do is come back to the W3 Schools and I'm going to add the CSS. Okay, for this document I'll actually keep the CSS in the head of the document. So I'm going to open up my CSS Designer. Under Sources, I'm going to click Define in Page. Close that for right now. That added the style tag. I'm going to click after the beginning of the style tag, and I'm going to give myself some room by hitting the Return key. And I'm going to go Edit, Paste. Okay. I'm going to flip to Live View for just a second. Okay. Back to Design View. Doesn't display well in Design View. I'm going to come back to this web page. I'm going to come down, and now it asks me to add the script, the JavaScript. This is going to make it interactive. So I'm going to copy everything. Make sure that you're copying all the text slash code, and I'm going to go edit copy. I'm going to move this out of the way. I'm going to go back to my code and I'm going to put the code at the end of the div here and right before the end of the body tag. So right here and I'm going to do caret and I'm going to type out script. It actually gives me it right here. I'm going to do the other caret, gives me the end of the script tag as well. I'm just going to hit the return key a few times 
And in between the beginning and end of the script tag, I'm going to go edit paste. I'm going to go ahead and preview in the browser. And I've got a working collapsible accordion. I'm going to move this out of the way. Actually, I'll just close it, at least this page. I'm going to come back here. Now, if I want to change the text inside, I'm looking more carefully at the code that I was given. Okay. I can see section one is here. I could change that, that to whatever I want it to be. Maybe um, I'll just do colors for right now. So I'm going to type blue. And maybe some extra text here. I think actually I'm going to grab a little bit of lorem ipsum to fill in the actual content area. But right now I'll go ahead and type green. I hope I'll spell that right. And for section three, I'll change the text to yellow. The text changes right here. I'm going to pause a second and get a little bit of alarm ipsum. Okay. I'm looking again at this first section, which is blue. Instead of this short bit of lorem ipsum, I'm going to add some more text here. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that text and edit paste with the lorem ipsum that I had. I'm going to come down to the green section or section two here, and I'll go ahead and get rid of that text and paste. Same thing down here for the yellow section, edit paste. I'm going to go ahead and preview in the browser again. If I flip open the blue section, I can see the lorem ipsum that I added. Um, obviously, you can change the text to whatever you want it be. Right now, these, um, these accordions go across the page but maybe I want to constrain it to a certain area and maybe I want to add it to an article or something like that on my web page. So I'm going to wrap a div around it and give it a specific width. So what I'm going to do is go to the start of this code right after the beginning of the body tag. I'm going to come down here. I'm going to select everything except the script tag. So basically it's div to div. And I'm going to go insert div and I'm going to give it a class name so it's not a generic div. And I will call it maybe um, my accordion. And say OK. I'm going to go ahead and add some styling, CSS styling to my accordion. I'm going to put my cursor right here, open up the CSS designer. And I'm going to add the selector down here. There it is. I'm going to go into the layout properties and give it a specific width, pixels, and I think I will put 600. You can see it collapsed already as far as the width. I'm going to go ahead and preview again. And now I've got a specific width for that element. Again, I can incorporate that in a web page somewhere. If I scroll up and look a little bit more carefully to the CSS code, okay, I've got the styles for the accordion that was given to me by the uh, W3 Schools webpage, I can see in here I could change the color, the white color, I could change the text color, I could change the pointer, 
um, some other of the properties here. Here, I could add a background color to the button, and I see that I could change the color here. The style of the accordion panel, I could change what's going on here as well and customize them to ever, however you'd like them to be. Maybe I'll go ahead and select accordion. I'll go into the background color and I'll change it to, just so it stands out, maybe a yellow-ish color. That looks more like green. I was able to change that. I'll go ahead and preview. If I put that in the way, I gotta get that out of the way. Okay, and there are other CSS styles so you can change kind of the interior of these collapsible panels.